I am Mike Sayeg, and I am a student at Ferris State University DHD program, and I'm working on the capstone on the job with my partner, Chris Lawson. So it originally started as a student-led project in order to create a card game for CareerQuest, and CareerQuest is a job fair meant to expose middle school and high school students to various kinds of STEM careers that are out there here in Michigan. And they wanted us to make a card game so that way they could have an opportunity to teach them through games and stuff that they knew that they would enjoy. And I wanted to take it further. I really enjoyed the concept and I wanted to push it to not just as a card game, but also as a video game in a mobile setting. So that was where it started to come about. I wanted to make this capstone because it kind of connected to me in a way. When I was growing up through high school, I didn't quite understand what it took to get a job. I just thought, go to school, graduate, go to college, graduate, and then you'll land a job somehow. But that's not really how it works. There's life events that happen. There's a process. There's a sense of corporate, depending on what industry you're in. And I didn't believe that that was really understood uh, in that age range. So I wanted to give that them that sort of connection through a video game and be able to teach them what it takes to earn a career, what the various paths there are to get one, and um, hopefully they'll be able to understand further once they start graduating high school and uh, moving on to college or whatever trade they get into. Chris Lawson is my programmer. Um, I knew that I needed to work with at least a team of myself and one other person. I'm not uh, well versed in programming. My forte is mostly in design and project management and art as it is, but I wanted to still be able to produce this game. So I reached out to my friend Chris Lawson, uh, who's also in the program, and he's been amazing. He's been an, a great help producing this game and developing it working with me um, side by side and it's just been it's been a great uh, project so far. It takes a lot of research. It took us we so we originally wanted to just build it straight from card game into a digital format but we knew that that wasn't going to be enough so we looked into games like Kahoot or Jackbox that were structured very similarly in um, just how we used server client communication and just started to build our skeleton from there. So once we started to understand how it should functionally work, then we built the skeleton for the game. And once we had the skeleton for the game, then we built the design for it and started implementing the art, implementing the actual mechanics for the game. So that way we could actually fulfill the um, the purpose that we were building it for. We came across a bug that set us back. We were, we were in the middle of uh, testing uh, server client communication and ready to test essentially our wireframes of what we had at the moment. And something happened and we lost essentially 60% worth of work that we put into the game that could have already set us ahead like a lot. In order to mitigate that problem and to fix and basically come back uh, around, we had to take out some core mechanics that would have really made this game like shine. In the end, we were able to balance it and make it back to a very functional, still very enjoyable game, but that bug definitely set us back and we just had to work around it and keep pushing forward. So. Yeah, um, so a lot of people ask me that and they usually just assume like the big animation studios like Pixar, Blue Skies, and I'm those really aren't exactly where I'm super passionate of exploring. Um, however, I am mostly passionate in 3D visualization, um, vi uh, working in video, working in animation, uh, just keeping that whole realm together 
uh, that would be the section of the industry that I am passionate in pursuing as far as a career goes. Yeah, um, I don't want this to just be a project that I shelf. I do want to actually keep going with it um, because I know it has a lot of potential. It's best prototype stage right now. Um, I wouldn't say it's ready to be like shipped as a final product, like just on the market. I do want to move forward with it. Um, uh, ultimately include those mechanics that we had to take out because of the setbacks that we had before. But yeah, in short, I would, I would love to move forward with it.